In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table of content slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this 10 step content slide. Uh, first, you can put the step number one. You can add the title and the detail text along with the icon and with the different color, it will show you the different the step two, then step three, four, five till step 10. And I have created few more slides. You can see here, here I have just put side by side the table of content. You can add like this also. Or if you want, you can just make it very simple and plain a slide like this without any colorings. And if you want, you can just make it only one side also. So depending on your requirement, you can just choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, then some features may not be available. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this one size. Shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, I'm going to give it white. Then go to insert, add one more rectangle, maybe the smaller size. You can see here, maybe this much size. Shape outline, no outline and shape fill. You can give any color of your choice and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the right triangle, draw the right triangle, make sure the height and width the same shape outline, no outline and shape fill green. Go to rotate and I'm going to make it flip horizontal and just zoom in a little bit and just make sure that it is properly aligned. All right. It should not be smaller or bigger. So now I'm going to select both of this. All right, go to merge shape and union. So it becomes one. Can you see here something like this? Then I'm just going to bring it down. For example, press control D to duplicate and I'm going to make it one here. You can hold the control shift key together. Add one more here and one more here. All right. Now, depending on my requirement, I can just change the color of my choice. So I'm just going to give maybe some different color combinations all right and if you want to uh, do some colorings here because you cannot do the same coloring i mean you can do only the uh, one color only because it's one object so i want to uh, break this into pieces also for that let me just select all of this and press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side okay then go to merge shape and i'm going to fragment it okay the moment i fragmented i got this different shapes you can see here so this one i'm going to choose the same color okay this one i'm going to choose the same color here with the help of an eyedropper this one i'm going to choose this and this i'm going to choose the green color all right now I'm going to choose all these colors. I can go to shape fill more fill colors. All right. And I can reduce the weight. The moment I do like this, what happens? It becomes gray. So I cannot do by selecting all. So I have to do one by one. So go to more fill colors and reduce the just make it more lighter. Okay. The one is darker, one is lighter. That's what the combination I'm going to do it. So, and this also I'm going to go to more lighter and then bring it here. All right, you can see something like this. And this will go here. Make sure that it is properly aligned, all right? and the unwanted uh, the objects i can simply delete it so once this is done what i can do is i can go to insert icons and i can choose any icons of my choice so maybe i'm just randomly choosing some five icons four or five and then i'm just going to make the height and width as 0.5 only and then just put it one by one here you can see here I'm just adding so only I need four icons only I don't need five 
I'm going to delete this one and then you can insert the options here so this is I can just say put as option one if you want you can make it bold press ctrl D add this is the option two option three and option four and make sure that it is properly aligned so one two three and option four all right and then you can add some detailed text so go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket i got this text unwanted text i'm going to delete this one reduce the font size and i'm going to just place it here maybe somewhat i will increase it press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here like this all right and then if you want to add more i can just simply select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and add it to the right side all right and now if you want to do some animations i can select this this and group it this and this i'm going to group it likewise you can see here i'm just grouping one by one and go to the animations enable the animation pane so first i'm selecting this one i'm going to make it wipe effect so it comes like this and this also i'm going to choose a wipe effect it should happen from left and it should be with previous so if i play it comes like this and then you can display the text wipe and that should happen after previous so likewise you can just simply copy and paste the animation effect here